Hey, this is Mary, your Holistic Addiction Recovery Coach. Just wanted to bring one more message today on this topic of drop the rock, character defects, letting go of aspects of ourself that no longer serve us. So, in addiction recovery, we talk about like 10% of the disease, of the illness, being about the actual active addiction of you know, the drinking, the drugging, or the addictive behavior. But the other 90% is about the thinking, the alcoholic or the addiction-related thinking and behaviors that go along with it. So when we talk about drop the rock and letting go, and in 12-step work, when you're talking about the seventh step, six and seven, having character defects removed, a question comes up is, well, do they really go away forever? Well, your obsession to drink or drug or whatever your obsession is related to addiction, maybe it was removed permanently. And that's kind of a miracle, right? But sometimes with the character defects, with behaviors, the alcoholic thinking, the addictive patterns of behavior and thought, sometimes takes some work. And if you do what I suggested in the earlier video, dropping the rock, doing something to symbolically let go, ideally at the water. Well, what happens? So you throw that symbolic stone into the ocean, let's say, right? And it represents some character defect, some negative pattern of behavior, the way that you operate. You no longer want to do because you see it doesn't serve you. So you throw it out there into the ocean, and what happens? Hopefully, that act of letting go helps you shift it and that powerful intention that you set. But just like the rock, that if you literally threw a rock into the ocean, eventually the waves, the tides, the current might bring it ashore, right? So your character defects and these other issues for you might occasionally resurface. That's okay and that's totally normal. What's important is your power lies and what you do with it. So that's the maintenance part, right? You gotta be vigilant, not just with your obsession to drink or use other drugs or engage in certain addictive behaviors, but also with these character defects. So if you see something come back, you notice, if you're aware, oh my gosh, I'm doing that again, or I'm headed down that path again in terms of unhealthy thinking or behaviors, go back, return to the ocean. Return to that body of water, that place that you perform that, that ritualistic seventh step or whatever type of letting go you practiced. Pick up that stone and give it away again. Throw it back out there. Turn it over. Say another prayer intention. Meditate on it. Release it. It's okay to have to do it more than once. Just stay with it. What's important is what you do with it today. So I wish you well on your recovery path. There are many paths to recovery. Please check out my other videos. Thanks for liking this if you found it helpful at all. Share it with anyone you think might benefit. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment below. And I look forward to sharing more resources, holistic resources with you for healing, recovery, and personal growth. Have a great 24 hours ahead.